edition of the Colourscope. My name is Elizabeth Harper. My websites are sealwithlove.com and schoolforlineworkers.com. So we're using crystals and colour again this week. I kind of like this. If you like this format, let me know. All right. So using your intuition, select either number one, two or three. You can also move your cursor along to a time in the video where there may be another message for you as well. Remember to stay to the end because we have a crystal and a message for all of us. All right, so are you ready? Number one, let's see now which crystal wants to come in. I have these four crystals that are chosen, just have, okay. So the first crystal is the citrine. It's a citrine cluster. So with that, you see that it has this white that's going along there, like a creamy white, and then it has this gold and yellow on top. And then it's kind of rough on the other side, but it's really bright and sparkly inside, isn't it? So I'm feeling that with this, other than it's a fabulous stone for success and prosperity, and of course it's linking in with the solar plexus, I feel that it's saying that something may be happening in your life right now where it just didn't look like it's that good it doesn't look like it's going anywhere and there's nothing that's happening from it and there's no bright sparks that's coming from it and maybe that it's not prosperous or successful but I'm seeing that there are some other little pieces. It's almost like it needs to build up. It needs a little bit more time. And then you get to this place where it's all sparkly and beautiful. So, so that's my sense with this particular vibration. I'm also feeling that there are some other people that are going to come in and help and support you as well in whatever it is you're, you're focused on right now. And it could be anything. It, it could be, you know, I'm thinking of this as career because that's where my focus is. But it could be things like childcare. It could be things like your health. It, it could be something like, you know, having your house painted, whatever. It, but whatever it is, feels like the layers, it's almost like there are other pieces that are going to come in. And part of those pieces are about people that are going to help you as well. So all is not lost, even if it looks like, even if it doesn't look great right now, there's this gorgeous little sparkly bit that's coming in for you. I love that. So now we have four cards. I'm going to shuffle them and see which one wants to be picked for you, number one. Okay, so you have this gorgeous card. This is Anubis. So there's the energy there of the heart and then the feather in the other side and justice, this karmic vibration. So it's yellow and blue. So with the yellow and blue, to me, yellow is the left brain and blue is the right brain. And these two need to come together so that we have balance in our lives. So with this, especially with, you know, you get the rough and then you get this gorgeousness that's there. To me, it's just saying that sometimes that happens. It looks like you're getting something that's not very good, but then something wonderful comes from it. So I get this sense of do not give up. Don't give up. You're getting there. You're moving in the right direction. You're heading where you need to be, where you need to go. And I'm also getting a message of believe in yourself as well. It's kind of nice. All right, so number two, what do you have? So is that what I have right here? Is that just a minute? All right, so it's this, it's this stone right here. So this is a rainbow fluorite. It has in it some green and some white and a little bit of violet as well. Kind of like the outfit that I'm wearing, which is often the case, isn't it, with the colors that come in. So, you know, this has a little broken bit at the top. And that's one of the reasons I still have this gorgeous little piece of fluorite. And you know, when I'm holding it, when I'm feeling it, I'm feeling like it's so powerful. And yet you don't realize how powerful it is because you might judge it by this little broken piece that's there. You might think that, oh, it's not gonna work because something isn't kind of right with it. Something's not perfect. So obviously that's a big message, a theme that's moving through here because it's kind of similar to number one, isn't it? So with fluorite, there's a sense of it, it rids you of negativity. It moves things out that you know, you just don't need anymore, especially with this green vibration. It's like cleansing it all away and then opening yourself up. What I'm getting with this, it's 
there's a sense of needing to have confidence in who you are, that you are capable of doing anything, that even if it's not perfect, you can still do it. Even if things are not perfect in your life, you can still do anything and have everything that you want and desire. May not come in the way that you anticipate, may not come in the way that you visualize, but what the guides are saying is that if you open yourself up to receive, then you will begin to receive these blessings that want to come into your life. The green vibration to me is about being out in nature and connecting with maybe with with the trees and with the grass and with um, with the leaves, with the flowers, with the plants, etc. So it's time to get back into that natural state of being, that natural state of awareness. And I'm getting this sense of slowing down, that it might be time for you to slow down a little bit and start looking at nature, take walks, start looking around you and what is there and start drinking in the energy. So I feel like you need to just you know, it's like release something and bring in new life. But that is going to happen when you take a walk or you're in nature. It's like that new life is right there around you. All right. So then the card. Let's see which card wants to go with this. I've got my three cards. <laughs> I feel like it's this one. Ooh, all right. So this is Archangel Gabriel. And then on the other side, you see that beautiful star and the star right there and the angel wings, etc. And this gorgeous gold. And then there's a magenta that's at the top. So there's an aspect of this that is saying that you are coming. It's almost like you're realizing your beauty. You're realizing your power. You're realizing your wisdom. But you have to open up to access that power it's almost like to acknowledge the power to realize it so again we're going back to that place of having confidence in who you are i feel with this that it's saying that you are getting messages from the angels to do something to take a next step to move on to to maybe to open up but it feels like there's there's something that you're getting messages from your angels about and you know, it could be a vacation or something that's like time for yourself. But I feel that whatever it is, it's about rebuilding your life. It's about rebuilding something in your life so that then you have a platform. It's almost like a platform for you to launch yourself from. Your angels are there to help you. They're there to support and guide and um, help you get to wherever it is you need to be, wherever it is you want to go. All right, so our third one is this uh, river rock. So in the river rock, you see how this is like quartz that's coming through it here. And so it has this black and white vibration that's going with it. And when I pick this up, you know, these rocks have been that have water going over them and over them and over them. And so they've gotten very smooth. So what I'm being told is that go with the flow, just go with the flow. And even if, again, it, it looks like it, it's gonna be a little bit difficult for you, they're saying that it's okay. You can just, if you go with the flow and you don't struggle, then it'll be all right, it'll be okay. But if you start trying to swim upstream against your emotions, you start trying to go against things, then it's gonna be much more difficult for you. So in other words, there may be something that you want to do, or want to achieve, or want to have, and uh, it might not be the right time for you. So just go with the flow of the energy, go with the flow of your emotions. Don't go against your intuition. That's the feeling of this. I'm also feeling as if, it's interesting, I'm feeling as if there's some connection with family, you know, when I'm, I'm holding on to this, like there's some connection with family and a family get together. Uh, and there's a, a sense of different, you know, like I see these little lines here, there's a feeling of different generations that are coming in together. And I'm seeing family like it can be blood family, but it could also be family like your tribe. So there's some sort of get together here, there's some sort of connection and everyone coming together with that same, so that same sense of purpose, 
that same sense of connection and a feeling of support as well that's there. So I'm feeling like there's a, a link with the lunar cycles as well with this too, which is kind of interesting. All right. So now the card that wants to go with this, let's see what that is. Ooh, I have to get my own thought out of the way. Right? It feels like this one. Ooh, all right. Then. So this one is new beginnings for love. So we'll look on the other side. So this beautiful vibration, this beautiful energy, it says everything is there. You have all the ingredients, everything that you need. Everything is coming around for you. It, it's just, you know, it, it's like some part of your life needs to be complete and then you can move on to this next step, to this next energy, to this next phase. So, um, yeah, that's actually, that's really nice. I love that. I love that vibration. And I'm getting this sense of with the river rock that everything is not black and white all the time, that there is this area that maybe you just haven't seen yet. Uh, and that whatever it is you haven't seen, it's almost like it's coming into you and you're going to suddenly, it's like your whole vision is going to open up with it. <gasps> okay. All right. So the stone for all of us is this gorgeous piece of apophyllite. So I use apophyllite in my energy field to cleanse through my energy field. I use it to shift the vibrations in my energy field. So when I'm doing this, I can feel that whole, I can feel it going into my ears. I can feel it through my whole system. So this is an aspect of this is about cleansing. With this white, with the sparkly white, it's also a connection to your angels and your guides and your fairies and your, you know, the elementals and everything like this. This may not be your cup of tea, of course, but it's just saying that you are going to be connecting with people that are outside of your current dimension, your current um, arena, let's say, vicinity. So it may be that you're linking with people that are in another culture, or in another country, in another foreign land, or, or in another town, in another city. Whatever it is, it's going to bring new ideas to you. So it's going to bring new thoughts to you, new energy to you. And because of that, it's almost like you're going to have a new, not, not sense of awareness, it's like you're going to have a, a get a, a, a breath of fresh air so it's like your inspiration is going to pick up your energy is going to pick up you're suddenly going to say yes now it's time to start getting back to to i don't know washing the car or painting the house or or um writing that dissertation or whatever there's a sense of a new energy that's coming up that's going to spark you inspiration within you to maybe complete projects or to start new projects, whatever it is, I feel that ideas are coming to you from other dimensions, from other places. So for me, this would come from the angels and the fairies, but for you, this may come from a person in the next city or, or on the internet somewhere. It could also be for you coming from fairies and angels as well, whatever feels right for you to embrace right now. There's also um, a little bit of peachy color that's in here as well. I feel that these are messages of love that are coming in. So um, there could be loved ones that are just, just emailing you with compliments or just to let you know that you know they, they care about you. Or it could also be that these are messages of love that's coming in from the divine, from your angels, from your guides, and from loved ones in spirit as well. So be open to that this week. All right, so the final card that's left for all of us is this yellow and green. Now, this is called um, Garden of Gethsemane, but it's linking in with a chariot. So this is about movement. So, you know, whenever I see yellow and green in people's energy fields, it's often about making decisions, that this is a decision making time about moving forward, about what it is you want, what that next step is going to be. But because it's the chariot, you know, the chariot is ruled by cancer and the cancer is, is, of course, the crab. So this is about coming out of your routine. It's coming out of your protective shell. It's maybe 
making yourself a little bit more vulnerable this week and it's nothing bad because of course we have the chariot here so it says things will move very quickly for you but it's just allowing it to move so letting go of your fear and coming into this place that your heart wants you to take you Okay, that's it for this edition of the Colorscope with Crystal. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Please share this with your friends. Give me a thumbs up. And of course, let me know if the messages resonated for you as well. I will see you next week. Lots of colorishes blessings to you. Bye. You can also grab my free color kit if you hit the subscribe button at the top. You'll get my love letter that's weekly with articles and lots of other interesting information as well. If you want to find out when my next video is uploaded, I have them twice a week, connect with me on my channel. Just subscribe to my YouTube channel. I offer services, I offer different consultations, you can find out more about those on my website sealedwithlove.com. I will see you soon, lots of colorishes blessings to you, bye!